Welcome to our lecture online. No discussion about exponential functions would be complete without considering Euler's number. What is Euler's number? Well, it's the natural number. That's also the other name that we call it. It's the natural number because everything grows exponentially according to that natural number, according to Euler's number. So we use the letter E to identify Euler's number. It's also known as the natural number, and we write it as an exponential function, f of x equals e to the x. So the base becomes the constant e. Now, e is indeed a constant. Oop, a lot of activity with our two doggies. All right. <laughs> so e is a non-ending decimal. The first so many decimal places, let's say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, the first 12 decimal places are 2.718281828459, and it just keeps on not repeating forever. So it's about 2.7. Now, we sometimes also write our exponential function, f of x, as e to the cx, where c is another constant, because as c becomes bigger, the function grows more quickly. As c becomes smaller, the function grows more slowly. Now, if you write the function f of x equals e to the x, whoop, that should be an x right there, it looks kind of like this. Now, notice that the function will cross the y-axis at y equals 1, because when x equals 0, e to the 0 is going to be equal to 1. And then, of course, you can see the exponential increase when x equals 1, y is e to the 1 power. When x equals 2, y is equal to the 2 power. When x equals 3, y is equal to e to the 3rd power. So you can see that it continues to grow much more quickly as it goes on. So e to the 1st power is 2.718. 7.389 is e to the 2nd power. A little over 20 is e to the 3rd power and so forth. Now, of course, we mentioned that we can sometimes use the function f of x equals e to the cx, some other constant. So here I have three functions, f of x equals e to the ax, f of x is equal to e to the bx, and f of x is equal to e to the cx. Now, a, b, and c are simply constants, and notice that a is bigger than b and b is bigger than c. So you can see, if you have put a bigger constant in front, it, the function grows more quickly. If you put a smaller constant, it grows less quickly. An even smaller one, it grows less quickly again. So that gives you a feel of what that function looks like depending upon what constant we put in front of the x. And so when we start talking about exponential growth, if things grow quickly, we have a big constant. If things grow more slowly, we have a small constant. And that's the only difference in the exponential function, we, the constant we put in front. Of course, we can also put a constant in front of here that starts with the initial amount, but we'll go into the details later with that. So hopefully this gives you kind of a good feel. It turns out again that everything in nature grows according to that natural number called Euler's number. And that's why this is such an important function. And we'll get into where that function came from. And we will show you uh, mathematically where this number came from as well. You can actually calculate it if you like, and we'll show you how to do that in some later videos. And that it is the answer to what is Euler's number?